CEO of Airswipe. And today I'm gonna show you how we're gonna revolutionize the way business presentations are done. We're gonna do it with a team of highly skilled professionals. I myself hold a degree in computer science and I graduated a master's in economics. We have a, a double major in uh, informatics and uh, cybernetics with over seven years of experience in, uh, in IT software. And we are being advised by uh, Andrei Pitish, who brings more than 20 years of experience in, uh, in high-tech startups. Uh, I don't think I need to tell you that we're in a, in a moment uh, in time where computer interaction and uh, user experience is changing dramatically from the old uh, uh, paradigm. From the release of Nintendo Wii in 2006 to the recent release of, uh, of Microsoft uh, Kinect and the rapid uh, expansion of, uh, of the, the, the iPhone, uh, it is obvious that uh, alternative means for computer interaction are becoming the, the status quo. Also recently, we saw a, a huge amount of sales in, uh, in Microsoft uh, Office 2010, and we can't help but wonder when will this alternative means of computer interaction uh, is going to get into the uh, business uh, software presentation. My answer is that this is going to happen now. There is a, a great need in, in the market for, for uh, new uh, business presentation software and new ways to help the business presentation. Companies really need to make an impression on, on, their, uh, on their clients. They need to be able to sell more and they need to keep their audience <coughs> focused so they can get their, their message, message through. All of this, they have to keep their costs low, uh, they have to be able to adapt fast the new technologies, so they need something cheap and easy to use. Uh, we are working on a product that addresses the, this, this needs. Airswipe is a software that brings this uh, natural user interaction and the natural way to uh, use a computer to business presentations, and in particular to, to PowerPoint. By using hand gestures that are then identified by a simple video camera, we can map these hand gestures over uh, certain actions in PowerPoint. Uh, how this uh, came about? Uh, we work on, on, a, on a product that uh, identified uh, hand position on a hard display or on a projection by pointing the camera at that display. Seeing the rapid expansion in uh, business presentation software and in the, the selling of uh, digital projectors, pro, pro, uh, projectors. Uh, we saw the opportunity to use the same technology uh, so we can map, so we can uh, face the camera to the presenter and then identify these hand gestures. We are currently in the process of developing this, uh, this product and bringing it to market. We have a lot of advantages on our side. It's just a software, it's a web-based technology, so Theoretically, you don't need to install anything on your computer. And you have a lot of problems with presenters. For, for example, you get a presentation very static and dull because with one hand you hold the mic and with one hand you hold the presentation. So if I want to do anything, I'm going to look quite silly. Again, you have no problem with the batteries. You can't forget your, your presenter because it goes to the device. A lot of laptops have a web camera, so with that laptop we have a web camera as our product is completed, I could just swipe my hand and we could go to the, to the next slide. Instead, I'm going to click. Uh, it's also a, a good place, place to be in right now. We have an enormous increase in uh, digital projection sales. In 2008, there were 6.2 million sold and it's predicted that in 2011, there are going to be 8 million sold. Also, in uh, institutions, educational institutions, we are seeing an increase in projectors and digital whiteboard, uh, whiteboard solutions, which also need a, project, a projector. In China alone, over 2 million uh, units are believed to be sold by 2013. And also, in UK alone, we have a penetration of 75% in schools of projectors. Of projectors. Uh, an easy forecast for us, we are not bold, even if we get 0.1% of the digital projector market alone, of the digital projector sold 
each year, we're going to reach profitability in the first year. We're going to reach an amount of 400,000 euros after the first year, we just 8,000 licenses sold, and in three years go to 0.3% and reach a figure a revenue of 1.5 million. What we will need to make this happen is the amount of 50,000 euros to complete the product in the first six months, start sales, direct sales, and marketing, reaching profitability, like I said, in uh, month nine and break even in month 11. We are willing to offer for this 25% of the company. Do you have any questions? Yes? How far down the line are you? How far down the line are you developing the product? Why weren't you able to produce a couple of gestures right here? Uh, yeah, uh, we moved uh, quite recently. Like I said, we are developing the, the software for um, identifying gestures while facing the display. This is in place, we have a proof of, proof of concept, we have two applications that use it, so the technology is validated, we can use that. In uh, five months time, we expect to, to be able to, to port this technology so we can face the, the presenter. There are a few technical issues that have to be adapted because there isn't going to be a display in the uh, in the back of me, so I should, uh, to make it work right now, I should be in, in front of the display, which is not good. And what's, and what's the competition doing? Uh, well, the competition are these guys who sell, sell presenters. The recent, uh, the recent re release of the Kinect SDK for Windows, so we're going to have some applications there, but uh, it's a very high cost to use uh, Kinect. So it's like uh, $180 just for the hardware alone. So competition are regular presentation uh, devices, pointing devices, presenters, and uh, this new expansion with uh, Microsoft Kinect, some other alternative using the Wii, but it's still, uh, uh, you have to hold the device. This is the, the competition right now. Any other questions, please? If you're using a regular webcam, what happens if, uh, for example, the lights uh, in the room are dimmer or... Because the Kinect works so well because it has all these fancy sensors in it, but you are using a regular webcam. Um, uh, are you confident that it will actually work? For our test, we tested in uh, several uh, locations and uh, the cost of the webcam, I think it was $10 and it worked. In case the uh, light changes or you have the dramatical uh, changes in environment, we can resync it. So you, uh, most likely you just have to leave, exit the view of the camera for a moment and then re-enter and uh, we're going to resync uh, the, the image. <coughs> of course, you, can, you could opt if you want more uh, functionalities and better performance you can opt for a more expensive web camera, let's say like $30, $40. If the technology is web-based, are you supporting the Mac and Linux, for example, or just Linux? Uh, not yet. It's uh, based on, uh, on Flash right now, but the algorithm can be, can be, can be ported up for, for something else. So another advantage is that we could demo the product in people's homes, so you don't have to download anything, you can try it on the web. Any more questions? What, what, what about the path to market? I uh, understand that you're going to use a, a licensing model. How do, you, how do you plan to sell those licenses? Yeah, actually, we are planning to, to sell it uh, via web-based and uh, also a direct sales in uh, institutions, starting with uh, institutions, educational institutions, because they are most likely to adapt to new technologies. And then uh, in the second year, uh, partner with uh, hardware resellers, so we can sell it with the, the projector, because the, the cost of the license is very small with the projector. Like we have now <coughs> MR or sell, uh, selling the <coughs> laptop with Windows licenses or with Office licenses, this was the, the best idea for us. George, I didn't have coffee yet. 
but uh, could you, I'm, I'm sure, I'm not completely sure I understand how this works. I know you, you, your, your demos aren't ready, but could you sort of simulate what happens with your software? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure uh, I fully understand. The idea is you, uh, if you want to uh, next the picture or do, uh, do some actions on your presentation software, like next, you could swipe your hand like this. No. Like, or if you want to. Uh, you could also, uh, we didn't develop this yet, but it's possible thanks to the proof of concept we have. You could also point on the presenter on a specific location. So if you're next to Oliver place and you would like to show something at the presenter, you could do like a hand gesture then show a pointer on the So this, we didn't implement this, but <coughs> it, it can be done with the, the proof of concept. Okay. 